Congress is back in session, and along with trying to save Houston, they have to raise the debt limit, fund the government, and try to keep us out of a war. Oh, and they want tax cuts as well. Oh, and they might try to deal with health policy. Lord grant us strength. This is Healthcare Triage News. Let's start with the epic battle to repeal and replace Obamacare. It's pretty much dead for 2017. Why? That pesky Senate parliamentarian. Well, at least this time. You see, it all comes back again to reconciliation. You may remember from many, many episodes of Healthcare Triage that the Republicans were going to use reconciliation to pass and repeal and replace bill with only 51 votes in the Senate, ruling out the chance for a filibuster. In order to do that, they had to make the repeal part of the budgeting process, and it's really complicated and not important here. But what is important is that the parliamentarian has ruled that the budget measure the Republicans hope to use expires in fiscal year 2017, which is over at the end of this month. So it's past something this month or no reconciliation for you. And as I noted at the start of this episode, Congress has plenty to do already. It's not gonna get repeal and replace compromise done as well. So for this year, this fight is pretty much over. That doesn't mean there's not a lot happening though. We've still got a healthcare system to fix cause it's got a lot of problems. Last week, HHS Secretary Tom Price announced the agency would slash funds that are used to help people enroll in private marketplace plans. They cut the advertising budget from 100 million to 10 million. It's important to remember that you don't have to advertise to sick people to buy insurance. They're gonna do it anyway. You need to advertise to healthy people to buy insurance. If they don't, only sick people do. We've covered that whole death spiral thing so many times here, I just need a macro for it. Just for perspective, California plans to spend more than $110 million this year to advertise for exchange sign-up in just their state. The US government cut the national advertising budget from $100 million to $10 million for 34 states in the federal exchanges. They also decided to cut the money they put into navigators by 40%. Navigators are local people or groups that help people sign up for insurance. The Kaiser Family Foundation believes that about 80% of people who use navigators do so because they lack confidence to apply on their own. Almost that many say they need help understanding the plans. More than 30% need help because they lack internet access in their homes. The Commonwealth Fund has shown that more than a third of Americans who remain uninsured don't know about the exchanges. Still, healthcare triage isn't penetrating enough. This is all problematic because, as we speak, insurers are scheduled to finalize their 2018 rates in the federal exchanges. They're supposed to sign contracts on September 27th. They still don't know if they're gonna get those cost-sharing reductions we keep talking about. Without those, it's expected the premiums might go up another 20%. It's pretty clear which direction the Trump administration is going. It's not clear if Congress will set its own path. They're back at work. We'll keep updating you. <laughs> Healthcare Triage is funded in part by viewers like you through Patreon, a service that allows you to support the show through a monthly donation. Your support makes this show bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank Joe Sevitz and Sam. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Sam. More information can be found at patreon.com slash healthcare triage.